Ok, tu hai presente la, il link, ti passo il link su Facebook, così questo qui magari lo vai a pubblicare in, in ZBrush, nei gruppi di ZBrush. Eh, non ce li ho, i ZBrush. Vabbè, anche se non sei iscritto, penso che tu possa... Oh, no. Lo stream è integro, mi dice qua. Tre spettatori attuali, buonasera a tutti, buonanotte, bentornati, ben arrivati. Se siete in chat datemi un hashtag insomnia, datemi un hashtag insomnia se siete in chat, datemi un bel hashtag insomnia no, non posso. mentre io indosso il guantino. Non posso, no. Non puoi? No, allora perché no. non sono membro appunto. Allora lo copio in collo io. Eh, questo è qui sì però. Ma metto quella di Facebook o quella di... No, metti quella di YouTube. O metti la tutte e due. Metti la tutte e due. Chiudi l'immagine e metti solo... Vediamo se dobbiamo mettere l'altro. Aspetta, venite a trovarci, scrivi tipo ok dai fammi vedere un po' su youtube come siamo messi allora, facciamo anche cambio schermo ok quindi qui siamo su ZBrush siamo su ZBrush cosa devo allora? cosa posso scolpire? scolpirò un bel mostro via ok messo comunque sono Bene. due tre stanno iniziando ad aumentare sì. cinque vai a iniziare a parlare con loro dove siamo? Ah, qua su... Salte, vai, vai, vai. Ah, ciao ragazzi, benvenuti, eh, mi state seguendo su una live di Facebook, questa bellissima funzionalità che già sta spopolando. Comunque questa sera, questa notte, eh, data l'insonnia che ci accompagna, quello che voglio fare è mostrarvi il funzionamento di questo software che si chiama ZBrush. <ride> Che permette sostanzialmente di fare delle cose molto fighe eh, con la scultura digitale. Io sto utilizzando una tavoletta grafica, come vedete, e sto iniziando a eh, buttare le basi, diciamo, per... Aspetta, adesso Giorgia chiama... No, mi sa che si annulla pure la live. Ah, no, no, sei... Vai, vai, sei... vai. Sono live. Si è bloccato, però... Si è bloccato. Sì. Um, cosa che stavo dicendo? Non ricordo più. No, dico che questo programma ZBrush consente di fare delle robe molto fighe a livello di scultura digitale. Io adesso mi sto buttando giù un po' le basi, no? molto come si dice, molto grezze per disegnare il busto di un mostro, di un alieno, di un demone, non so quello che sarà. Per cui, se avete commenti a riguardo, se avete mai visto questo software, se lo utilizzate, fatemelo sapere con un commento, così vediamo un po' di confrontarci sulle nostre esperienze. Invece io magari do un'occhiata qua, ma eh, c'è qualcuno che commenta? No, no, nessuno. Datemi un commento, ragazzi. Datemi un commento. Fatemi sapere che siete live anche io voi. Io non sono in inglese. Cioè, perché sono tutti. Ah, l'hai messo in un gruppo inglese? Eh, non. Ah, la parla in inglese. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you understand what I'm saying? 
I'm here and I'm just, you know, just starting this quick sketch sculpture in uh, ZBrush, if you can understand me. We don't actually know where, what the um, language of our audience is, so please, if you, if you can tell us where you are from, we can, you know, see if we can talk your language, if we can speak your language. Right now I'm based in Italy, I'm uh, in Milan, and I'm here in my home studio. I was just spending some time with my friend Samuel, and we were, you know, deciding what to do of our entrepreneurial future. And I decided to jump in um, for a quick live streaming and see what and see what happened. You know, I'm here. This, this software I'm using is called ZBrush, okay? And this is, is done for, uh, this is it's main use, it's for digital sculpting. So let me know if you ever try to use this software, if you have any special requests for the sculpture I'm making. And let me know if you ever had any experience with this program and if you have any issue with it, maybe we can help you solve it, okay? I'm using a Cintiq graphic tablet. It's a Wacom Cintiq graphic tablet. It's, uh, you know, it, the, the surface is interactive uh, through the pen I'm using, so it's very cool for uh, graphic design and everything, uh, you know, linked to the digital art field. So if you if you just drop a, a comment and let me know where you are looking the live from, uh, just give me a night and hashtag with your you know your country. I can give you my hashtag. My hashtag is hashtag Italy, and I would really like to know where you are looking this live from. So you see, we we already have a. A quick sketch. I, we have already a quick sketch. I know someone of you is giving a like to me, so congrats for your kindness and your, you know, cool participation. Uh, it's very cool from you to drop a like, and maybe you can tell also as where you are watching from. I would really appreciate some interaction. You know, just to you know have some good time together while I'm sculpting this quick um, quick bust, quick monster bust, quick, quick alien bust. What do you think? di Ruben Acadia, I'm scritto si? Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii, wow. I'm really jealous of you. I would really like to be in Hawaii too. Is it right? Is it the right pronunciation? Hawaii? I think so. I guess it is. So we have a friend from Hawaii looking for looking to our live. That's pretty cool. Never imagined our first comment would be from such a cool place. And yeah, instead I'm here in Italy, Milan. It's very hot. The summer is is very hot, and we have uh, some air conditioning here. Do we have some air conditioning somewhere? Do we have it? Yes, you you and okay. So somewhere I just turned the air conditioning on because here with all the technology we are, <laughs> you know, we are using the the temperature is becoming high. Oh, hey, Francesca Rizzoli, salve, buonasera. Vedo il tuo commento, ma su YouTube c'è un commento di un'italiana. On YouTube there was an um, Italian comment because I'm streaming both on uh, Facebook and on uh, on uh, Ciao come va? Ciao come va? Poco Benissimo, tu? Cosa ci racconti di bello? What are you doing? I'm great. Ciao come va means uh, how are you doing in Italian? So for anybody <clears throat> who doesn't know? Okay, so here I'm just, you know, sketching out and 
blocking out some forms some forms okay so this is going to be my basic design for this monster alien thing and now I'm going to add some detail okay so I'm picking a, a different brush more for details if anybody of you have, have ever had a, an experience with a Z brush, you maybe know what brushes I'm using but for the ones who didn't have I really suggest that you try out this software, this piece of software because it's very cool if you, if you are interested in digital art okay. so let's see what we can do let's let's make this design more extreme let's use some move elastic which is going to screw up more our geometry but make it make it also more interesting okay so as you can see i'm playing uh, with my geometry and i'm creating shapes that i like shape that makes me feel interested in the sculpture so it's a very free, freeing process, it's a very freestyle process. Nothing is nothing is planned, it's just you know going with the flow and sculpting what's interesting for me in this moment. Okay. So what let me know, let me know in the comments what's your profession or what's your main passion when it comes to art and things like that. If you ever had any experience as, a, as an artist or you know, if you have any client you're working for, if you have any desire. Yeah? Paolo Enrique. Paolo Enrique. Dice nice. Nice. Thank you, Paolo Enrique. Thank you very much. And uh, what about you, Paolo? Where are you from? What are you doing tonight? How did you find uh, this link? How is it to watch me sculpting on this amazing piece of hardware and this amazing piece of software? Because here we have, um, you know, a combination of very cool stuff I would say very very cool stuff so let me tell you something about me while I wait you for comment and subscribe your your comments my name is Andrea I am from Italy I like to draw paint uh, digital, do digital sculpting I study anatomy a lot uh, I'm building an online uh, um, course um, website you know okay, it's like commentato Paolo Paolo che dice Paolo uh, I am from Brazil oh Brazil. Paolo from Brazil uh, cool. I, and uh, I find your live in Pixologic and the group on Nintendo ah Pixologic cool nice because Samuel is helping me and he uh, shared the um, link on different groups so Saluto Filippo che sta guardando la live, un mio amico. Uh -huh. Filippo is a friend of Samuel and he is also watching the live. So let me know if the quality is okay, if everything is, is going uh, the right way. And let me know if you are uh, by any chance visiting the website. Uh, um, I know you don't see the link. So. <laughs> DJ Juan uh, scrive che appunto ha visto questo video sul gruppo Pixologic. Cool. Cool. Eh, Kjell. Kjell. Yes. Kjell. Cool. Thank you for coming. Scrive anche Filippo che è qua a vedere la live. Filippo is watching the live. Sì, sì. sì. Cool. So, what about this design? What do you think? What, what direction do we want to take it? You know, it's like, here I'm just you know, improvising every shape, it's just, it's a very cool exercise for, you know, building confidence because it helps you, you know, it's, it's 
very freeing. It's very freeing. It allows you to build your comprehension of the of the software, of the the tools. Maybe we can put some music. What do you allora, think? Abbiamo un altro commento yeah. da Sofian che mm-hmm. dice Ciao Andrea, hello Andrea, I'm from uh, Morocco. Morocco, wow. Yeah. Qui dice good work. Thank you. What's your name again? What's the name? Uh, Sofian. Sofian, thank you very much. Anzi, c'è questa pronuncia, non so. And if, if the name is Miss Spellet, please let, let, let us know. Uh, Paolo commenta ancora. Paolo. Allora, improvising is so nice. I do this sometimes in the brush, but I have to get better. Uh-huh. Cool. Una risata finale. Punto vuole cool. migliorare. Yeah, for sure practice is the, the best mean for improving, you know, and uh, exploring shapes, you know, and never get too attached to what you are, what you are sculpting, you need to, you know, keep, keep moving and keep trying. And Abbiamo anche due miei amici, uh-huh. abbiamo Pietro e Giuseppe, che stanno Pietro and Giuseppe, yes. seguendo la live. Pietro e Giuseppe from? Pietro è mi sa siciliano, però non so di preciso. Pietro from Sicily. L'ho conosciuto al al developer all'evento di Catania per lo sviluppo di videogiochi. Quindi sviluppare un videogioco a 48 ore, poi abbiamo Giuseppe che invece è di Messina. So Samuele was talking about the fact that he attended a developer's event. Okay, with um, some other guys, and some of them are watching the, the live right now. So, that's a good Abbiamo anche Cosimo Forina. Oh, Cosimo, I know him. I know him very well. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for my pronunciation. I know it's very Italian style, but, you know. <laughs> That's what my my tongue and my can do, what my tongue can do. But people is coming, is coming, people in, in the chat. Uh, siamo in circa uh, 25. Oh, okay. 25 people in the in the live. That's cool. Oh, oh, oh. Se mi sa ridere, ha scritto la risata. Cool. Allora, abbiamo un altro commento mm-hmm. di Torok. Yeah. Scritto, hello, I'm from Turkey. Turkey. I have a lot of friends from Antalya. That's good. Okay. Antalya and, and, and today, to, uh, tonight, the after dinner, uh, me and Samuele <laughs> had some uh, Raki. You know? Do you know Raki? E poi ha scritto, how many you work on the brush? I just finished my school, art school. Uh-huh. Who's that? È sempre oh. Dork. Dork? How long have I been uh, working? That's a question. Oh. Uh, that how been your work on ZimBrush? How long? How been you work? Ah, okay. I mean, I, I, I guess you're asking how long have I been working on ZimBrush? And I don't, I can't actually say, um, because I, I tried it when it was very new. I think one of the first releases, I had some experience with that when I was young. Then I, like, left it alone for a while and then I got back to it like some years ago, like three or four years ago, maybe five, I don't know. And yeah, I've been practicing, not consistently actually, but you know, sometimes. Well, ben Kovacic ci scrive, what tablet are you working on? I'm working on a 27 HD Cintiq. Into uh, Wacom, sorry, Wacom Cintiq <laughs> on a 27 HD Wacom Cintiq. Posso far vedere un That's attimo? It. Yeah. Con una ripresa un po' particolare. That's, That's what I'm working on. Now it's time maybe to crank the resolution a bit more. So let's do, let's do 128. Okay. 
and as you can see now the mesh is much more dense and I'm going to keep moving and pushing and pulling and you know I'm sculpting this creature as you can see it's starting to to have a more recognizable uh, character I would really like to know how many uh, you know professional designer are watching this live right now so if you are a professional designer give me a hashtag pro give me a <laughs> hashtag pro on the chat box allora sempre Ben Kocic ci ha scritto mm. have you worked on any of the cheaper tablets I can't really upload the 27 inch uh, inch yeah. one I've been working on a um, Intuos Pro that's absolutely cool I mean if you if you are starting out it's not a it's not a, a very bad I mean it's a, it's a very good uh, tablet to work on I still use it sometime I have it here in my in my studio so yeah it's not really mandatory to work on a Cintiq actually it's 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 very interesting it's very cool but you know you can start practicing and start gaining your first clients and start yeah, um, yeah. with the yeah. with a cheaper one and yeah. down uh, not to look can you just give it a wacom it's a wacom yes and for example paul paul mm -hmm. enrique mm -hmm. is uh, here in brazil that uh, syntax are totally expensive yeah. it's like uh, Oh, wow. 13.000? That's, that's really expensive. I don't know if it's American dollar or what. But... Nokilop dice di trovare, sperava di trovare un tutorial in italiano e appunto gli ricordiamo che su italianedigitalacademy.com yeah. puoi, yeah, yeah. eh, puoi trovare un corso di scultura digitale yes. eh, ad un prezzo veramente vantaggioso. Allora, te la faccio vedere, eh, ma è facciamo direttamente vedere, esatto. Ok, guarda, no, lascio qua, lo tiro giù sul... Ah, vabbè, perfetto. I'm going to show you my... Uh, no, no, in italiano. Digital Academy Workshop. Ok, ecco qui. so this is for my Italian friend in the chat. This is, this is a, a, a course I made on my, on my website. And this is, for example, it's a... It's a a course I did for um, it's on this website it's italiandigitalacademy.com okay italiandigitalacademy.com yeah, yeah you can you can what you can search and here as you can see I did some live um, in the past for showing how to sculpt uh, in in 3D and how to draw, you know, how to draw faces and features and things like that, you know, and and now and then I showed you how to sculpt. Okay, that's a nice uh, hashtag. It's a very good course, you know. It talks a lot of things and there is many different topics: the the skeleton, the the so face, the, the bust, the, the back, the torso, everything, you know. This is a course I'm selling on my website. Maybe in the future I will do it in English. Give me an hashtag, hashtag #ang if you want to see this course in English. Okay. Uh, Abbas mm -hmm. dice hashtag #pro scrive. Hashtag #pro. Yes. And yeah. uh, also sculpting in the brush ATM on my uh -huh. 20 power synth. Do you recommend an upgrade? I mean, I, I, I don't know if I recommend it. I mean, this is pretty huge, as you can see. I mean, if you, if you enlarge a little bit, you see it's, it's pretty huge. I can sleep on, on my <laughs> you know, it's, it's pretty huge. It, this, is, this is a 27 uh, Mac, iMac, and this is even bigger, you know, like it's the same screen size, but it's bigger as an object. So I don't know, I, I don't know if, if I, I mean, if you if you have some money to 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 spend, not to pay too much taxes, just go for it. But otherwise, I I, I don't know. Maybe I'm on Banner. Just like, what program do you text your your scoops in? 
I'm starting to learn the quick sell at the moment. So, so what? Uh, yeah, what? What? What so program do you texture your? Texture. Ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now, I'm texturing everything in, uh, in ZBrush with um, with um, poly painting, but that's basically because I'm more a concept artist, so it's like I, I don't really have to, you know, be part of a pipeline where people is going to need um, my stuff to be ready for uh, for being in a game engine or anything like that. So yeah, basically I'm painting everything in, in ZBrush. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, as you see, I've, I've been, I made some, some changes. I've made some changes to the sculpt. Maybe I want to incorporate more things. Uh, so maybe it's time to, you know, add a sub tool and start playing maybe with. Uh, I don't know I, I can do. I can do many things. I have many choices now. What What should I do? What can I do now? I can maybe I can insert something. Let's try inserting some stuff. Let's try inserting uh, set a sphere. Not to be too fancy. Nothing too fancy, but let's start inserting a sphere and pushing and pulling. Let's see what happens. Let's see what comes up, comes out of this sphere I just inserted. Let's see if becoming part of the design or not. Maybe it's going to be part of the design. Ah, comunque, Coco Co ci scrive 49,90. Yes. Non so, penso forse. Yeah, 49,99 for the course, do you mean? Sì, sì, non so, sì. Yeah, so 49,99 is the price of the course and it's 36 hours long you will see uh, anatomy lesson and and you will also be able to see the live session I have been with my students um, reviewing their their sculptures and their drawings so that's that's I, I think that's that's pretty useful if you wanna get skilled in uh, anatomy Sempre Paolo ci scrive, hey, what brush is this? I really need this. I what think it's the, you mean the, the Moog Elastic or the... Dice proprio il brush, il pennello. Insert penso. sphere, I, I've been using insert sphere right now. It's just a couple of minutes ago I used an insert sphere. So this is going to be part of the design. Okay. Yeah. You know, and you see it's it's a continuous process of pushing, pulling and fixing and having fun with the shapes. Okay. And exploring what works and what what's not working. It's an alien being stuff creature. What did it? What did it? What did it? What did it? It's a what did it alien. Ricordiamo agli ascoltatori ci sono in questo momento yeah. uh, il corso disponibile su Italian Digital Academy a soli 49,90 un corso di per la durata di precisamente 36, 36 ore. 36 ore e poi se lo acquistate adesso, perché adesso è fase promozionale, se lo acquistate adesso, come vedete io sto scolpendo, no? io continuo a scolpire, io scolpisco tutto il giorno praticamente e continuo ad aggiungere contenuti al corso di anatomia, perché piano piano lo andiamo ad espandere, lo facciamo diventare da disegno, scultura, tutto, fotografia, tutto. C'è una lezione addirittura dove ci sono le fotografie della mia mano con diverse pose, con la voce pitturata in vari colori per far vedere i piani, le forme che la costituiscono. Insomma, tanta roba come si dice. 
Manuel Lopez ha condiviso il video. Hey, great. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Manuel, for sharing. Sharing is caring. Thank you, Manuel. Manuel is doing a great job. What else? What we can? What's your? Okay, now I'm I'm giving you another another chance for a pool. Let's do this pool. What's your favorite subject to draw, to paint, to sculpt? What's your favorite subject to draw, to paint, to sculpt? Qual è il vostro soggetto preferito da dipingere, scolpire, disegnare? What's your favorite subject? And I'm so happy I'm doing this in English because it's helping me to, you know, practice uh, my English skills. Okay, so Paolo Enrique, yeah. Enrique, Enrique. Uh, I made an alien, alien, uh -huh. alien, ecco, that was looking like uh, your model, but he, cool. but he don't uh, have too much details. Okay, yeah. So the, the first step is always to define the main shapes, so that's, that's cool. And, and then after that the, the objective is to add details, but you know, you, you can do the other way around basically. Aurelio La Perla ci scrive invece, diciamo, she fai stuff. She fai stuff, yes. So Aurelio has the has a passion for science fiction sculptures so cyborgs and weapons and things like that guardiamo la sua pagina liquid sun production liquid sun production it's the it's Aurelio's page he is another uh, Italian digital artist he is uh, working with me on the Italian Digital Academy You can also find uh, his course there. It's uh, all about ZBrush. Praticamente Will Martinez, che ha commentato non sulla live, ma uh, sul post che ho condiviso sì. su ZBrush Pixologic, ha scritto The shape on the face is coming out wicked. Wicked, yes. Che poi cosa sta? Wicked, wicked it's like... Um, i don't know. <laughs> what's what's wicked, guys? Give me a, a definition of wicked, please. Look, you know, live wicked. Malvagio, maligno, perfido. Ah, perfido, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ma anche, am... anche figo, eh? Audace, malizioso. Okay. Ok, ho commentato di nuovo. Ah, it is awesome. Awesome, thank awesome. you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I would like to find a good way of giving him a mouth or something like that. So this could be his mouth. Any other question, guys? Let's see what I can do with the mouth. I'm not really sure I want to give him an actual mouth. I don't know if I want to give him an actual mouth, and I don't want maybe I want to open his mouth. So, to open his mouth, I'm going to do like that. I'm going to use mask lasso, and I'm going to. What happened? Take these parts, the ones I want to be part of the upper portion of the skull. Okay, so I'm going to take, for example, all, all these pieces. I'm going to subtract from the selection. No! <laughs> this part. I don't need to, to do it perfect because I'm going to fix it later. So I'm going to exit perspective. I'm going to place a transpose line here and I'm going to open his head like that. 
and maybe I'm going to move it a little bit. Let's see. Vi invitiamo di commentare per chiedere qualsiasi cosa, quindi. Yeah, just if you if you want to know anything about what I'm doing or what I do in my life or what I don't do in my life or about my childhood or my study, my studies, my work, my job, my dreams, my project for the future, or you want to share yours, you know, your project for the future, your dreams, your expectation for your career, no? Saluto un approfitto per salutare un mio amico che sta guardando la live in diretta, appunto la live, Fortunato Grillo. Ciao Fortunato. Ciao Fortunato. Benvenuto. Guarda qui quello che ti facciamo vedere. Ok, now I'm going to rotate everything a little bit. Ok, like that. And now, my next task is to create a mouth for him. So let me know in the comment what's your dream job slash lifestyle, what you want to achieve professionally wise and where are you at now and where you want to be in the future. What? Ah, yeah, yeah. If you like this video, please share it. Okay. Share it. I will do the same for you. Be, you know, this important. Be sure about that. Because I think that when uh, you know when when you share something with others, it's much better to consume it by yourself. It's, it's much more aligned with my uh, perception of the world. Okay. So this is going to come come up like that, and the mouth it's going to. Um, Need some more work. Let's use some move. Let's move this. Make it more aggressive. Right. Let's try to hide these horns that right now I'm, I'm, they are giving me some headaches. What the fuck? Okay. So I can focus on the mouth itself. And then maybe I'm going to add some teeth to it. Hmm? Yeah, I I hide I I hide um hide I hide some parts to add me uh the mouth. I, I'm creating the hole for the mouth. And then maybe I need to inflate a little bit this part. And then keep moving it. Sometimes in these cases a reference can be helpful. I have to give more uh, mouth shape. Okay. Any question? No? The chat is silent. The chat is getting silent. Particular smile and wall and the Uh-huh. One emoticon. Yeah, yeah. Drop some emoticons. If you don't know what to say, just drop some emoticons. I, I will really appreciate that. It's very nice to have someone who is interacting. Yes. Da Will Martinez. Will Martinez. Did you go to school for this? If so, where did you go? 
Uh, I didn't go to any school actually. I learned uh, by myself and looking on the internet and buying courses online and you know just practicing. But I don't really need. I don't really think there is a school at least in my in my country or in my city about these kind of things. I mean, not to this, not to this level. You know, there are some courses, but they are pretty. You know, I, I don't feel like they are professional enough. <clears throat> so I had to look around uh, for myself, and yeah. So basically, basically, I, I learned by searching on the web, as as many of us did. I think. Most part, I think, was the most part le, who le, the most the most part of the people who learn this kind of thing did it this way. But right now, I'm going to build a, a community and a place like the one I wanted to find when I was looking for, and you know, so that the future me is not going to need. Uh, to you know take all that time and effort to find the information and to learn learn these kind of things you will have my future me will have everything up and ready i don't really know if i like this mouth actually let's try something different let's try doing some Do you want to pesca? Or a pezzo? No, no. Sicuro? Yeah. Okay, let's try... Let's try... Let's try inserting another sphere and see what happens. Let's insert the sphere here. And let's start shaping it. Cosa ha fatto l'elefante? Cosa ha fatto l'elefante? Cosa ha fatto l'elefante? Maybe I'm going to dynamesh, but this time I will keep the groups. So when I dynamesh, I will have different polygroups. Okay? So I can uh, um, keep working on... Uh, just this one. Maybe this will be stand up on the uh, YouTube, I think it's dead. No, zero, zero spectators. Because I'm, I'm talking English and you, you shared that. But I don't think I can do it. I don't know. I can't stop it. 